have an open book. That's all I remember to that. You know what I mean? Anything you hear from me, you could have asked me and I would have fucking told you the true version of the situation because nobody knows how dark and deep my bad times really were. I've not been through it. Black Zod, the greatest name ever mentioning. His raps are parallel dimensioning that brings better insight like in between parentheses. This is seen so far from the pack that he lives in all of our minds, making us believe that we're the ones visiting. Are y'all listening? His voice is an orchestrated symphony that would make my wife wipe her eyes and drench her jeans. When me and her have sex, he asks if he can intervene. I high five him in like a tag team, watching him go Randy Savage and I'm going Hawk on my cock I'm Hogan. What a beautiful moment. He was the witness to our no I cried tears of joy when she said, if it ain't Zaz, I don't want it. I condone it because I don't look at Zod as an opponent. I look at him as a leader, a positive influence, a person that takes full ownership, and he's physically fit. Some days he might skip leg day, but you could tell every day that he shoulder lifts shit. He carries the whole bars league. He's the epitome of showmanship and offbeat on wax battles. He arose from it. They say it's because his flow is unorthodox. We love Zod so much that we just roll with it. Like, that's so legit. His voice soothes as we close our eyes to his tunes. He's surrounded by butterflies when he enters rooms. His presence God body. I've seen chicks go by him and strip down nude. I've seen men fetch his food. His glowing stature would make anyone correct their mood. His perfection's smooth. Not much I could take from this dude. He shared his imperfections with his missing tooth. But we'll still close the gap so we can all benefit off views. He doesn't pick and choose. He's always available with open arms. He's more than just General Zod. He's General Mills or Kellogg's. He's special, okay? Can't talk smack about him. He'll go two scoops to raise the brand. He's Barr's lucky charm. And when it comes to celebrating his op, he ain't no stranger. Check the post where he commented about Swak and his diss track battle. He told Swak, Man, that's a banger. Zod's a game changer. Straight hip-hop, man, you're the real deal. You could have slapped him hard as fuck like Chris Rock, but that would have been against your will. You're too chill. I have followed your whole upcoming. Short hair to dreadhead. You have victory bobsled through this league. Man, you have had a cool running. Ain't that something? And you're a father? What, you have a son and a daughter? And not to mention a few battle rappers you have fostered? That's why you're a winner, because you have never mismanaged anyone on your roster. He is just not a talker. He is battle rap self the shocker. That means he has no limits. He'll serve me a ex and then take his kids out swimming. You love your children. They love you. And with the ladies, you're a knockout. Like the actor that played Cliff Huxtable. And in rap, you're untouchable. 
What you like, 10 and 2? Rap leagues adore you because you're so dependable. And ops love you so much that they'll no-show. Like, here, I gift this win to you. Love you, Zod. So it's me, ZLD, I guess the greatest smile in the world. I confess, as soon as I see those bright whites looking like they beat dentures in a durability fight, no matter the odds, surely Zod will be all right. I'm blessed. And why am I even in this battle? Swat K talking about giving me spares when Mr. 176 and O is actually here. As I hear it in my ear, I'm next. And look at his chest. Man, he would go into a bench press competition with Mark Henry and leave him a mess. A thousand pounds and ten reps. And the world's strongest man tries and dies. Now, who should be in the Guinness World Record books for being the most powerful ever? Duh. Marco, silly. I digress. No point in acting smart. Why would I apply chess? When in four moves, I lose. It's checkmate. I should stick to checkers or I'll never be happy. And just sappy. Uh, cry at best. If I wanted to continue my streak, this wasn't defeat to me. Now, I'll end with only two defenses. What a horrendous streak. Marco will top RD, Tim Sullivan, then take over the banger division and start bugging them. Fly his way on wax to be the GM and champ, but always utmost and fair in his governance. None of us will ever be repugnant and shit, and his wife must be lucky. I bet he rubs toes, knees, licks her butthole until she busts and goes to sleep and doesn't even impose his D. Nah. Saying no stroke for me, I just want to hold you, please. Man, I mean it a bunch. He even does semen retention to get closer to God and could easily monk, marry a nun, get none, run confessions, piss on the devil, and end Armageddon, rewrite revelations, end hell, send everyone to heaven, the Antichrist, don't got nothing on Adam 3.0. The son of the son. Man, I'm telling you. If upon you he lays his hands, it restores all the good in you. And yet still puts wood into the Dracula's at night. The ultimate leader of light and evil's regression. I'm here to be your butler, motherfucker. What up? Show you for sure that you getting all my attention. Never zero. When I look myself in the mirror and think about being a superhero, I picture being like Marco Polo, leader of all worlds. I'll never, ever be near you. You're too elite. I'm beneath Z-O-D 24-7.